What's up, motherfuckers? Here we are in the garage again. <laughs> so I'm over here doing the final uh, honing, honing of this. It doesn't look great, <laughs> but this is this is a great experiment. I decided to make an experiment. I'm going to show you guys every one of these cylinders, okay? Exactly how they are. I'm pretty much done honing this thing. I don't really think I can go anymore. It probably wouldn't be a good idea. Um, let's see, Ford Blue Gauge told me 15 seconds. Some WD-40 back and forth on medium speed. That's what I did. Probably doubled that. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. It's a big fucking experiment, right? <laughs> but I think this would be a, and when I say an experiment I'm curious All right, everybody's like oh you know they, you can't have ridges on the top of your cylinders they can't be pitted you know the scratches it's all bad it's all bad you know let's see let's see knowing what we know the fact that we can you know pick up a camera and record exactly what every cylinder looks like and then when we get it in the car and started, we can see how much compression each of those cylinders has compared to what we found in these cylinders after we honed them. Hmm? I wanna, I'm curious, I wanna know. Uh, you guys know my buddy Justin, I've been talking to him back and forth, and he goes, Psh, it'll get 135 PSI. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, everybody's like, yeah, there's a lot of paranoia around putting an engine together. I can see it. It's an explosion, a control explosion in a chamber. But, but yeah, let's see what can what you can get out of cylinders that look like this. Like I said, they're not bad, but, you know, it's not something great. So let's take a look. All right, everybody, I'm zoomed in here. Um, this is so, sorry if I get a bad camera angle here, here or there. But this is uh, cylinder number one. As you can see, it's pretty damn clean. Um, it does have scratch right there. So cylinder number one has a scratch, really no pitting. Cylinder number two, well, look at the top there. There is pitting right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think that is it on this one. It does have a little bit of scratches right over there. And I think that is it for that one. Cylinder number three. Yeah, look at that sucker. It's a pretty good scar. <laughs> it's getting sent. So and there's that lip right there. It's a teeny bit of little pity, but again, not bad. And those uh, those lines you see there are from me wiping my hand on it. And then we come to number four. Well, you see that. <laughs> at least it's at the top, right? And then in there a little ways, you can kind of see, see that right there, the darkness? It's pitting, but it's very faded, and you can't feel any of it. And that is number four, okay? So we'll come over to number five. Right back there is pitting. But, good news, it's at the bottom. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of pitting in there it's not too bad and you got the ring which you can't really you can't really feel it it's you can't even feel it there all right so now that brings us to number six not too bad nothing really bad in here except up there at the top down there is a little bit of weirdness that isn't coming out but doesn't seem to be uh, affecting anything does it? I don't can't catch it with my nails or anything all right so there you go there's number seven a little bit of scarring really can't feel it though and you come down there's some pitting toward the back at the bottom not a big deal and this one you can feel that a little bit <laughs> but let's see what happens <laughs> number eight Probably the worst pitted one. Most of that right there is in the back. There is some in the middle. Um, can't hardly feel it. I mean, like I said, guys, in here, 
you can feel that so that's probably not good but again experiment i just want to see what these uh compression and these cylinders are so you never know i mean it could be just a good running engine could have fun with it spin the tires a couple times you know god i cannot feel anything there maybe just barely man just barely number number seven is probably the worst on that seven and eight but like i said i've honed these probably probably to the extent i wanted to hone them <laughs> i even had to hone out the the distributor <laughs> hole here because there was a pretty good chunk of surface rust there but i got it all out it's all nice and smooth in there now all the way around so that should be fun to stick that in there and but yeah man i just wanted to make this video so we can come back later when we get this engine built and put in the car and see what the compression is on all of these cylinders and compare them to what these cylinders look like because here we go we got a documentary uh <laughs> approach to this okay here we go with my little experiment because it's curious i'm just curious man like i said people think that kind of stuff is no good and the engine is gonna have issues let's see if it does so when we get it back together we can compare the compression to what they looked like so um and this shouldn't take me too long to put together once i start getting it to that point okay once i start getting it to that point then it, it will go together pretty quickly and uh then we can stick it in in here anytime yeah after that but uh but it's going to take me just a little bit to get it ready i'm in the middle of doing cam bearings <laughs> wait for that video so thanks for watching we'll see you next time <laughs>